The ongoing conversation about finding one's personal style. Let's talk about it. A common misconception about personal style is you finding it right away and you sticking to that style throughout your entire lifetime. Which is not true. Your style evolves as you evolve. It is very common and it's nothing to be ashamed of if you feel like you need to uphold a certain image of yourself. It's okay to change. Now, this was me before. Very sheen core, sadly. It was of the ending of the pandemic, so that explains a lot. And that's actually when I started to get... Well, not more interested in fashion, because I've always been interested. But... Really starting to develop my own personal style. And sadly, for me... At that time, I was consuming a lot of social media and Euphoria was trending and Y2K was trending, which you can probably tell from those photos. And now I just like this. Very important to reduce your social media use whenever you're trying to find your personal style because there's so much noise, especially on the fashion TikTok and it's very ironic that I say this filming this video but whatever reducing your social media intake TikTok Instagram uh, even Pinterest it will actually help you more than you think because a lot of the time our opinions are not our own it's always influenced by some someone else our thoughts opinions and often feelings are not solely based on ourselves, it's always influenced by others. And the same thing goes for fashion and clothing and style. So reducing one's intake of social media will make it a lot easier for you to figure out what actually is you like and not some trend someone is pushing to you. Not only reducing your social media usage, but also reducing shopping which you probably don't want to hear I love to shop who doesn't love to shop but shopping in the state of figuring out who you are it will quickly become very cluttered in your closet because you actually have no idea what it is you're searching for and it's okay to take a pause from consuming I know it will feel like you're missing out on stuff but trust me, you're not. And your wallet's going to thank you, and you're going to thank yourself later. Truth is, less social media equals more authentic style. Truth is, the style doesn't lie in one specific clothing piece. It lies in you. And it lies in your mind, how you put things together, and how you think. But also in your confidence. Figuring out what you love can take a lot of time, a lot of effort, and also a lot of criticizing. But that's okay, that's what we are for. I'm going to show you two different examples of two black outfits. And I'm going to try to explain what it is I like. First we have this outfit. And we have this outfit. At first hand, I'm drawn to the second outfit way more as I am to the first one. Even though these are two black outfits, they are very different. The first pick doesn't really align with my own personal style, which is why I have this example. There's nothing wrong with this first outfit. But for me, I know that I like more texture in my outfit, especially if it's one color. So having this plain top with not a lot of accessories doesn't really make sense for my style. I do like that the pants have this pleated stripe, but other than that, it doesn't really align with my own personal style. Second photo. Love the mixture of oversized and feminine. Oversized structured blazer really gives a masculine feel to it, but dressing up uh, the layer underneath as more feminine just makes sense in my mind. Now, what this signals for me is that I probably like more 
of a mixture in my outfit, a mixture of feminine and masculine. And also having different types of textures, not having it as plain. But figuring out what you love and dissecting outfits in this kind of way, figure out what you love. And then later on in the process, it will make it easier for you knowing what you love when you shop. So you don't shop blindly, because we don't want that. Asking myself how I want to feel when wearing a certain outfit or clothing piece became very crucial for me as I have struggled with body dysmorphia and I didn't want to have my body be on display because I didn't want to feel objectified by society. Directing your attention to the emotional aspect can help you a lot if you struggle with any type of body image issues. Before I was only focusing on my physical body, which didn't help my style at all. I was only dressing for the male gaze, if you want to call it that. <clears throat> and when you dress for the male gaze, you're not really dressing for yourself, you're dressing for others. And it's actually not going to help your style at all. For me, I wanted to feel secure. I wanted to feel safe in my own body. I think color is really underrated when it comes to one's closet. I only wore black for many many years and as I evolved I started to feel like I wanted to change. I want to show more of a bold expression of who I am which is why I choose color now. A crucial part of developing a personal style is knowing are you valuing comfort or looks? Because it will determine how your closet is built and how your style looks. I definitely wear both, I do. Part of the time I value comfort over looks because I feel restricted in my own body. And that makes me both feel comfortable and look uncomfortable. And I don't want to do any of those. I think it's very important to research both of them in order for you to figure out what it is you actually want in your closet and for your style. At the end of the day, a key point of developing one's personal style is criticizing and researching. And that's okay. I think we, all of us, me included, consume way too much media and it gets in your head. All of these fashion trends and its curated identities telling you cool girls wear this for summer, you need sambas, you need X, Y, and Z. You don't need anything. You need your critical thinking and researching. As everyone says in all of their how to find your style videos, confidence is key. And confidence is not found in any external things, it's found within yourself.